Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here in my time at Sandrock. It's almost time for the next day of the fashion show. We had a blast in the previous episode, we did a bunch of stuff. Wow. It looks like we have even more shining faces than yesterday. Seems like Desert Teak has positively inspired our delightful townsfolk. Who knows how long until the whole of the free cities has the Desert Teak streak? Today we will be showing the Summer Heat Swimwear Collection. The design inspired by our constant shining companion. Now that our beloved town has solved the water crisis, it seems that it is about if swimsuits are no longer the reserve of the free city's elite. No, now the common folk can enjoy the sun and bathe. So let's welcome our models back onto the stage. Isn't someone missing? Yeah, I saw another piece on the flyer. Ah, uh, yeah, here's one of our models is. There they are! Thank you everyone for watching the Summer Heat Collection. Again, if you wish to buy them, you can talk to me for orders. Everyone is welcome. I can assure you we will tailor for your needs. Trust me, you won't regret it. Of course, we want to make everything according to taste. What is fashion without personality? Any changes can be requested, and we're happy to oblige. We will have a complete design document available soon. It pains me to say that today is the final day of the Desert Teaked Fashion Show. Thank you all for your support, and I hope you all become fans of our humble town. I have no words for how I feel. As I traveled, I always came back to Sandrock. I knew, buried somewhere deep in the sand, that there was a spark of creativity, that there was something here to bring us into a new, more fashionable future. But don't worry, I won't stop giving you all the most wonderful haircuts, but I shall be providing you with the newest in high fashion. Thank you for coming and showing me support, everyone. Cool. Nice. That was a cool fashion show for the swimsuit part. Uh, yeah. We got some, some other stuff. Then the... Do we get... Let me check that or something. Let's uh, so share. Okay. Ooh, we can put uh, the other outfit. Hmm. Cool. I didn't know that. Probably it's for now. Probably the next thing will happen. Oh, that was cool. You can change that. Didn't know. Didn't know. Hmm. Interesting. Also, we have like yeah, we need to upgrade tomorrow, and also we need to go get those spaceship stuff that we will get uh, from the dungeon. But for now, we're gonna sleep. I'm gonna wake up and do what we need to do. See if there is any other things for the submit because we got a lot of money, like huge amount of money. Yep. Okay, let's go see, and then we're gonna let's actually upgrade first to see how big that we'll get, 
time. We're gonna lose about 150. Or yeah, that, that's about. Yeah. Oh, that, that's massive. Is that the last year? Oh, there is more. Dear God. You need 2060 to level 10. Yeah, I don't think we are near a clear to that point. I don't think we are in uh, remotely to that point. That's huge. That's massive. Dear God. Like, that's a big workshop. Like, you can do stuff. Like, we can do stuff. Like, it, when we're in the campaign, we're gonna do stuff. We're gonna take time to make stuff. We wanna see what we can do. Like, so, anything for this submit? Or just simple requests? Just simple requests. Okay, let's go for the engines. And uh, that comes probably to the eleventh win what okay let's go let's go to that oh probably to the level and okay 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 let's go there like having this should water thinking coming from there but that's massive that's an engineering thing okay so this thing yeah i need to go from there okay let's reset let me go there let me go do that and uh, yeah when i found it i will come back all right i'm back and I'm here at Kui. I got the thing. It took too long to get there, so we are fine. Uh, let's give that. Mint and I will start our analysis right away. Oh, by the way, it seems everyone in town has taken great interest in this project. It is one of the largest things ever built by mankind in our current era. So, I kind of, as they say, get it. Many members of our community insist they want to help. Therefore. I have told them that there is no harm in procuring materials for a large project. I cannot, however, speak to the value of set materials. Nevertheless, it may be worthwhile to speak with people around town. Good luck! I'll try to get these engines and a diagram for the airship to you as soon as possible. The airship diagram proved to be more exciting than I had initially anticipated. Never judge a book by its cover. Or rather, exercise caution when judging a diagram solely on your first impression. Yes. That's what it should be. Hmm? No, I don't have any extra components for you. My contribution was telling you that extra components may be acquired by speaking with other community members around town. If I had something to give you, I would have given it already. Good luck. Okay, so I want to wait for a diagram, I guess. So. That's that. And uh, apparently we don't have anything else to like give the only thing we could do is probably do some rearranging now that we have a little bit more space together just a few minutes since we have the, the space to so change up a few things and probably sell a few things like honestly as good as these are, are uh, probably yeah, they don't look that great, although they do provide a good, decent amount of stuff. Where my dagger went, right there. Uh, I would like to do some changes. Probably I'm gonna sell them. But uh, yeah, let's do some home editing. Since we do have the space, this is probably obsolete at this point. But uh, not, uh, let's not be hasty. Like that. Nope. The whole building. Like that. And... Uh, 
I believe we can change that to be right there. And uh, also move them out of move those out of the way. Like so. And uh, move all those to have just a bit more neat spacing because okay let's face it at some point we need to make a house still haven't figured out what i'm gonna do i believe there is some already things yet to, that you can build by itself like some already stuff so i probably see that i can see it okay we are good nice ah it's a it's a little bit more open we can see a little bit clearer yeah i like i i like it i like it very much okay let's go sleeping and uh, to get the next day so we can see what we have uh, to do all right let's see let's see we don't have a diagram yet so that's okay that's fine not a big deal and uh, do we have a space for that 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 actually let's put all the dog collectors inside you never know when you're gonna need one for stuff yeah i'm gonna we are not gonna hang out of course can we Put the normal stuff. Yep, I believe uh, I like the normal stuff. Uh, way better. And uh, blue moon and uh, yeah, we have the, the, the thing, the opening. Yeah, let's head to the opening. Why not? Okay. Cool. Hey. Welcome. Nian has been spreading the word about our shop, and the response has been incredible. Everyone seems to want something green or floral for their homes. I didn't expect such a great turnout on our first day. <laughs> I knew your mini botanica would be a hit. Who wouldn't love some plants as decorations? It's just that the conditions in Sandrock weren't ideal before. But now we have the means to keep them alive. It's so nice of you to visit us on our first day, Grandma Vivi. Here's your order. And we've also included something special as a shop opening gift. Oh, a gift? How lovely. Thank you. I wish your business all the success. Bye, Grandma Vivi. Goodbye. All customers today will receive a free gift. This one's for you. Take a look. It's a hydrangea. It's a special breed we got from a florist in Portia. Isn't it beautiful? It's now yours to keep. Cool. That's nice. Good to know. So, let's continue. Thank you for being with us from the beginning and for coming by today. Yeah, yep, yeah, I'm sure. All right. I need to attend to other customers now, but I'll see you at the celebratory dinner at the Blue Moon tonight. Okay, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. So at six, nonetheless, cool. Heard about the airship. Think I could take the critters for a ride? Uh, better not. I don't huh. trust any of them to not have a conniption fit if it gets bumpy. Except maybe Captain. Anywho, don't think for a second I'm gonna let you do it all by yourself. Here got you this to help out don't ask where okay we're getting stuff from a dream of running a shop okay ever lost once i became a builder but here we are it's just like ma said give your all every day so you can seize those once in a lifetime opportunities when they come your way no oh, that's nice if i hadn't worked hard as a builder i wouldn't have the money to invest in nia's idea and i wouldn't be a shop owner now 
How are things on your end? The aerial multi-purpose spray is just about ready to go. Things are going well. So well, in fact, that I managed to snag these to help you out on your end. Here. Hmm. Okay. This yeah. airship is going to be a lean, mean, green and machine. We'll be able to water the whole city in just a few hours. I'm... I'm going to need a hobby with all that free time. Oh, here. Make sure you're eating right. There's still so much to do. Uh, yeah, they're not giving that many of stuff, but... Oh, they... Oh, well, they, 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 they give luck. Okay, I will take some more luck. Why not? A raspberry seed. Cool. Ooh. Why not? Why not? So we need to wait until six to get to, yeah, to that. Probably to get to, to that uh, dinner in the blue moon. So we kind of need to wait. Okay, they're not gonna give too much of gifts, but yeah. So let me wait until we get to the blue moon and see you there. All right, everyone. So it's time to get to the blue moon celebration. Let's go inside. Okay, that's a new cutscene, apparently. Uh, well, lay it on me, boss. Let me go in for a second bite. So, you did go with more ginger, huh? Right you are. My line of thinking, sandfish tend to be entirely too pungent. In order to balance out the fishiness of the fish, I thought I'd try to cover that particular profile with ginger. Not bad. Hey, you've got one thing down. You can talk the talk. However, there still remains the subject of walking the walk. Not quite there yet, huh? Well, problem is, boiling ginger in milk causes the milk to curdle. Oh, uh, does it really? I had no idea. Hey, don't worry. It's one of those things. The only way to know is to have it happen to you. It's just about experience. You've got the right mindset. Let's keep going. Oh, how's it going? Hey, come on in. I've gotten pretty decent at making stuff out of a recipe book. Now I'm trying to take things to the next level by thinking up dishes of my own. Oh. It's turning out to be as tough as putting a bullet through a bunker window at five leagues. Cooking is not your enemy, Grace. It's something you have to feel flowing through you. If you think of it as a foe to be conquered, you will only wrestle with it. Instead, let go. Let it take you by the hand and guide you. To dance a dance of flavor. Very cool and mystical, boss. But... If I can't get it together, there's no reason for me to keep working with you, man. I don't need the money, and you don't need amateurs stinking up your kitchen, tarnishing your good name. Whoa. This just got serious all of a sudden. Let's just give it some time, all right? I can hardly imagine the blue moon without you, Grace. Uh, quit your yammering. I got something to talk about that's a million times better than whatever y'all are talking about. Dog oh, pooper, no, no, Cooper. I've come to share with you all my latest compositions. It's a concept album that can only be performed as a single, uninterrupted ditty. Unless I have to start from the beginning, and you guessed it, it's really long. Ah, shoot, Coop. We were just in the middle of trying out some new items for our menu. Can it wait? No. Try a bite. No. It's free. Uh, now, why didn't you say so? Uh, right. Well, just go ahead. Dig in. Perhaps my new dishes had no effect on our master chef, but will resonate more brightly with the common man. 
see? It's good that I arrived before someone genuinely in need. You see, if you just give handouts to every Tom, Dick, and Jerry, uh, they'll never learn the value of a hard-earned goal. Yes, because of my interception here, someone will be pulling themselves up by the bootstrap support. <laughs> it's it's so it's so unfathomably unfathomably what? Ah, it seems our good friend Cooper is for once at a loss for words. Your dish has stunned him with its majesty. His mind has been sent to another plane, a realm where there is only deliciousness. You two are not exactly subtle, you know that? I recommend for your next attempt at espionage, you give a better signal than winking. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It ain't like nothing I ever had before. I don't think we can print that review. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. I get it. I should just give up. You don't need to sugarcoat it. Uh. Sugar coat wouldn't make it any worse. Um. Grace, you're being too hard on yourself. I get that you're good at everything. This is just gonna take a little more elbow grease than you're used to. That's all. Let's take a break. Whew. I'm parched. Can I drink this? I need it too. To wash down all the. Cool. <clears throat> That's cool stuff. Oh, my peach on a pogo stick. <laughs> Tis the nectar of the gods. <laughs> I want to bawl my eyes out. Intoxicating dream. A cocktail that will take you back to a special place in your memories. Oh, um, I just made up some frilly stuff to put on the label. It doesn't actually work. No, no, that's not the point. The point is, this drink is delicious. Did you make it yourself? Mama! <sighs> Life had just begun. And now I've gone and thrown it all away. Yeah, um, just some sand berries, raspberry juice, ice. Oh, and some mint leaves thrown in. Just that. No trick to it. <laughs> I call to you, mother. <laughs> On the Is he drunk or something? <laughs> what counts as a trick? Hmm. Now that you mention it, yeah, while I was making it, I couldn't find a spoon, and back when I was in the service, I used to shake my grenades before throwing them at my enemies. You know, just a cute thing I like to do. So I put another cup over the top of the drink and shook it up for luck, I guess. Hmm, shaken, not stirred. Well, whatever you did, this is a smash hit. Best thing you've ever made. Maybe we should get you mixing up a few more of your ideas, huh? Try it. It's like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. Ain't that the truth? So everything I cook, kill it with fire. Every drink I mix, heaven in a glass? Well, this is only your first hit. Hopefully the first of many, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, this is delicious. Do we look like we're faking it? You don't... So, if I may be so bold, Grace, why don't you take the next few days to mix and shake up some drinks for us? And, if they're all even half as good as this one, we could have ourselves a drinks menu. Set up a second counter over there, start calling it a cafe. Grace's Cafe? Grace's Mixology? Something like that. Incognito Infusions by Grace. Oh, squeeze the day. Come on, man. And you don't need to do all that for me. Hey, just trying to do good business. <laughs> It'd be your thing, so we can do it however you want. We both come and try your drinks, right? It is nice, always having you two in my corner. All right, let's do it. I'll start mixing more drinks. Mabel! <laughs> I don't deserve you! Okay, he's drunk. 
So Grace I, uh, made. Guess we're not going to hear the new Kugo concept album today. Uh, you don't know that. He could be back. Seeing that that's the case, think I might start my juice journey tomorrow. Thanks, you two, for the pep talk. Sounds good. So, yeah, uh, apparently Glaze made the cocktail concept. Okay, that's cool. He made cocktails. Created cocktails. Great. Hey, you made it. We've already ordered the food. Uh, yeah, come join the celebration. I was a bit worried about starting a new business selling flowers and plants, but it turned out great. Going by our sales today, we'll break even very quickly. We knew exactly the types of flora that Sandrockers liked, all thanks to Mian's research. <laughs> thanks. All I did was ask around. You're the one that's amazing, getting everything set up in such a short time. Thank you. Yes, I do hope our mini Botanica will grow into something special. All right, let's raise our glasses for a toast. First, a big thanks to the builder for all their help. Second, let's celebrate the realization of Nia's and my dreams. And lastly, let's toast to Nia's spreading roots in Sand Rock with her business up and running. Cheers! Okay, time to dig in. Whew, that was a busy day, and now I'm starving. Starting today, I'm not just botanist Nia, I'm the proud owner of the Mini Botanica. <laughs> of course, I'll still come to you two for advice and guidance in the days to come. <laughs> of course, Nia. I'm the shop's co-owner and your partner. I'll always have your back. Tomorrow marks a new chapter in my life in Sandrock. Thanks for everything today. And Nia, it's getting late and I should head home. See you both later. Bye. Take care. Yep. Okay, we have changed some relationship stuff here. That's cool. That's cool. So I want to wait for a diagram, but it's also late, so we will go to flip and uh, see what's next in that six star commission. That awesome commission. Then we definitely need a new base, a new building for sure. It's getting crap. Like. That was an early home that I built. Oh. We have everything we need, oh god. That's a... Uh... Okay. We can break some stuff down. Okay, let's start with the zinc stuff. We need, uh, let's make six right there. Do we have any recycling to do? Okay, we have some recycling to do. Let's leave it there. We're gonna get some stuff back. Cool. Okay, we have that. We need some of that. We have this ready. We need two plus. Two. We need four, six. Six of those. And we need it in the gold table part. So we need uh, to find it. Bronze. Okay, so we need copper gears from grinder and smelter. So. We need quite a bit of bronze. We are maxed out, that's fine. And we need some copper gears that is in the not in the grinder in the polishing. Here also we need some copper. Right. It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a while to get that stuff done. But that's fine. Also, we could. So we have some copper scrap, so we can put that and that. 
like so, and we need to increase that. Yeah, because I'm using way too much machine at the time, this is happening. So this is almost gonna finish. The other thing it's gonna take, take about three minutes, the bronze stuff. Okay, what else do we need? For this, we need some nano coating and some nano tubes and some wooden polar boards. So we need three of them. Okay, let's put them. Like so. Next is some nano tubes from the industrial machine. And this is from the that so nano tube, we need three of them. Cool. And the other one is I believe in the cutting. Yeah, we need for that and uh, actually we need to stop uh, the nanotubes actually because that's gonna take a while yeah a lot of stuff there so uh, I'm gonna wait a bit. I'm gonna buy probably a couple of things more to have because it's gonna take a while for the copper mostly. I wanna put probably some copper to be smelted, but uh, that bronze it's gonna take about 13, so it's a bit. Uh, it hasn't opened yet. Oh, they're good. But uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait for that things to finish. And uh, I will see you in the next episode actually. I also removed my hand and the thing is not needed right now. So let's have a clean face for once, you know. So hit the subscribe like button and all that stuff. And uh, see you next time. Have a great day people. Bye.